This is part 4 of house design tutorial on AutoCAD and SketchUp on iPad in which I show you how you can design a door frame and shutter. Hello everyone, my name is Shelly Rajput. Welcome to Design Goridam. Let's begin today's video. Checking the wall thickness using tape measure tool. It is 6 inches. Using line and arc tool, draw the profile for door frame. Delete extra lines. Using selection tool select this profile. Click three dots at the bottom of the tool panel and click on flip tool. Select copy with flip. Erase extra. Create path using line tool. Profile that we just made will follow this path and get converted into door frame using follow me tool. For that select the lines using select tool. Take follow me tool and drag the surface of profile with your mouse or apple pencil towards the path. Now you can apply material on this frame and wall. And this is how it will look. I have turned on the shadows. Take rectangle tool and draw a rectangle for door shutter. Select and move it outside. Delete the surface. We just need the lines that will be our path for shutter frame. Activate plan view with parallel projection. Now we will insert an image of profile that I have downloaded. Drag it to set the appropriate scale. I am using line and arc tool to trace over it. I have traced only half part. Other half will be created using flip tool. I have already uploaded a lot of tutorials for basics of SketchUp on iPad. You can check them if you have any doubts. I have given link in description box. So I have created the profile. Delete extra lines and uh, image also. Select the path, choose follow me tool, drag the surface of profile onto the path and you will get the shutter frame. Create a rectangle for panel. Select and move door at proper place. Create door handle by using rectangle and push pull. Use scale tool to scale down the face of handle. Select the handle and make a group. You can browse and download materials of your choice and apply it on the handle and other parts of door. You can change style according to your preferences. There are so many options that you can explore. You can turn on shadows and change its settings. After some tweaking, this is the final look in my case. You can have a different view 
depending upon the settings that you choose. I hope today's tutorial is useful for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to Design Gorithm for more such stuff. Bye bye.